Hello everyone, received another knuckle, this one from uh, New York, and as you see, this flashing light is something different, when it's plugged to the charge, but well, when it's unplugged from the charge, it try to turn it on, then goes off. You can see the condition. This looks good. Look like the customer didn't use it that much. That's not good when you have the device you use it like a couple times and they stop working. Yeah, everything looks uh, even here. Like it doesn't look bad. So let me check the battery voltage. It's 11.8. That's good. 3.9. Three point nine, that's good. And three point nine. So the good thing, the battery is good. That's great. Eleven volt here. So the power button work. So you can see now it's a different. Uh, so we put this one in the ground, and we check three point three. So just we're gonna push power button. We have 3.3 is good. So because there is a voltage in the power button, it should be the VCC should be good. Yep, the VCC is good. Nine volt. Usually this resistor causing the problem similar to that one. Look is good. Because we have the VCC and we have 3.3 is this uh, diodes and this regulator are good. This resistor and this one looks good. So let's check the resistance and uh, the big resistors here. Okay. This is should be like under one ohm. So is the reading 200 ohms. If it is over 10 ohms, these uh, resistors are bad. It should be like one ohm or less. So let's replace this one. I do have 0 0.1 ohm, 2 watt. This is 2 watt is good. Alright, let's test it. Okay, it turns on. We have the boosting voltage. So let's check the voltage here. Eleven point seven, we have the voltages here, it's good. Flashlight works. Yeah. Well, Let's test the charger. Okay, it's charging. And it's taking about to over uh, over one and a half amp. So that's good. So 100 ohm, this resistor is tested 100 ohm or over 100 ohm. 
happened to him? I don't know. This one is 80 ohms. So, this device is fixed and ready to go. This is all for this video. Thank you for watching.